I think I had everything going for me. I was just a normal college kid. I was playing professional ball and I pretty much walked around like the king of the universe. I was uh, 24 years old. Um, I had a, a great job. I was working as a police officer for the city of San Bernardino. And um, I was engaged um, to a beautiful woman, uh, soon to be married. <laughs> Partying it up, having a good old time. Wrestling, working out, that's my whole life, that's all I've ever really done, just been athletic. Played some professional ball on my feet, uh, went to college, and I was really enjoying life. Uh, we were actually uh, celebrating that it was a possibility I was gonna be uh, going back to the Raiders and maybe trying out for the Raiders again. I had it made. You know, I had two arms healthy. I was uh, a letterman in three different events, three different sports. And then uh, overnight things changed. March 9th of uh, 2007, um, I was on duty uh, as a police officer, like I said. And I was responding to a call um, to assist a partner of mine. I was uh, driving and a dog, um, a dog suddenly jumped out in front of my police unit and I swerved just instinctively. As I did so, I lost control of, of my unit and uh, I turned my, my police car over. I had a vehicle turn over. And honestly, I can't remember too much of the accident past that point um, other than waking up a week later and uh, being told I was paralyzed. I knew that I wasn't the sharpest tool in the shed when it came to uh, school. I just could not sit through a class. And I knew the only way I would get into college was through a scholarship. And I knew the key to that was winning a state championship, and that's an automatic. And I was going to go to the University of Maryland, and two weeks before school I lost my arm. And so that changed things dramatically. I was doing a summertime job for uh, a roofing company on the Watergate building in Washington, D.C., the infamous Watergate building. And that morning, I was underneath a cooling tower, which would be an industrial fan. So a rope was thrown in, and it went over a shaft, uh, like a big fan shaft. And the one end of the rope wrapped around my arm, and the other end wrapped around the shaft. And it cleaned my arm off from the elbow down to the wrist. It kept the bone was still there and when I looked in front of me I saw a hand and then I looked at my arm and realized that hand was mine sitting about five feet from my face. July 14, 2000, I was uh, just wrestling, practicing wrestling with one of my friends. I lifted him, slammed him down just practicing and then shattered C6, my, broke my neck in the process. I remember falling and just laying there. And I could still feel everything, but then I lifted my neck to look down at my legs and I felt like my legs were in the air like when a dog would land on his back. Like my legs were, my knees were up. Then I looked down and they were flat. So I was like, oh, we got a problem. So he called the ambulance and the ambulance came and picked me up and started my wheelchair life. Once we got to the um, nightclub, we were celebrating, having some dinner. We were going to hang out a little late, and um, my friend, I told him, I was riding with him. I said, look, I'll meet you at the car. I'm going to walk the ladies to the car, and I'll meet you there. And as I'm walking to the car, I see an altercation going where he was surrounded by six guys. So I'm, I'm watching this. We're on Wilshire Boulevard in Beverly Hills. I jump in the middle of the incident, and when I jump in the middle of the incident, one of the young men tell the other guy to hand me a gun. So when he pursued to hand him a gun, I just automatically picked my buddy up from underneath his arms, turned my back to the gun, and the guy proceeded to shoot. And he ended up shooting me six times in the back. And I was able to throw my friend out of the way, and he was able to get away. I was kind of in the gutter. And that gutter moment, um, I realized there's a lot of other people down there, and it's not by choice. It's not because they're lazy.
because life is difficult for a lot of people. I don't think it really hit me for a very, very long time. I thought I had a really good chance to walk because I have complete sensation still. And so I can still like move my toes a little bit, but can't make a sandwich with that, you know, so. Uh, I can remember uh, the paramedics came and they took a look at me. Uh, they turned my body a couple times and I can remember the paramedics saying clear as day, he's not gonna make it. It's like you're starting all over again. So I pretty much was an infant and I had to learn how to relearn how to do everything. When I go from being six foot three um, athletic guy to all of a sudden looking up at everyone else in the world, um, it totally changes and everyone looks at you like you're fragile. Everyone treats you um, like, like you're helpless, like you're worthless. There's a lot of difficult things that uh, we all go through and uh, circumstances are out of a lot of people's control. Sorry. You're right. Give me a kiss.